Hey YouTube, and I'm back with another video. It's your girl Brandy with Unique Fashion 333, and I'm coming to you guys with this video. If you didn't know, I am a freelance makeup artist. I do makeup currently from the kitchen of my home, and it's getting better. Business is getting better and better for me, and I'm ha I have been growing a lot as an artist. So I'm gonna go through the things that I have in my kit, and I want to show you guys how to build your kit with like less than a hundred dollars or a hundred dollars or less and I'm gonna show you guys what I have in my kit so far and everything is sitting here in this overnight <coughs> Victoria's Secret sparkly bag because I have been doing a lot of house calls that's why I just took everything and just threw it in that one big old bag so I'm gonna start with this bag here I have a pack of disposables. Well, matter of fact, I have two packs of disposables. You can just, but you can get these at Dollar Tree, Sassy and Chic, one dollar. These come in handy if you use these to apply foundation if your brush gets too dirty, or you can use it to blend out concealer, apply setting powder, whatever. I have this big old thing of Dermacell um, lotion. This, I got this at Dollar Tree as well. You get 25% more. And look at this big old thing. So if a client does have dry skin, or they, I always moisturize my client. So this, and I did test this out on myself before I did put it in my kit. Make sure if you're going to be buying the cheap products, y'all, put it on yourself first to make sure it works right. So Dollar Tree, and this is a huge one. And I think they do make one that's oil free, so I'm gonna have to get that one as well. But I do have oily skin, and that did not make me oily even more, so that was pretty good. I also have some a pack of Q-tips that's basically out and done. So garbage. Q-tips, Dollar Tree, and also some hand sanitizer because why would you not have hand sanitizer with you? It's good to. So Make sure your hands is always sanitized, especially when you're touching somebody's face. So yeah, hand sanitizer for the win. Dollar Tree. <clears throat> so yeah, those. And I also do keep my Wet n Wild, my Elf setting spray up in my kit as well until I get some more. I just take the spray that I have and throw it in my kit. And I also have some cotton balls and this, I got these. It's 70 jumbo size cotton balls from Ulta, but Dollar Tree does carry cotton balls as well. So for a dollar, I forgot how much these was, but I'm going to take y'all on the vlog with me. We're going to go price some stuff in the stores. And I also have a, this big old container of different color glitters. This came from, um, where? This came from Michael's Craft Store, so this is Craft Glitter, so beware, make sure you, um, I need to get that as well, but I need, make sure you have your release form, so make sure your client signs off, so if this glitter gets in their eye, it can scratch their eyeball, and you don't want to get sued, so make sure you let them know, you know, this is, you know, and it comes with all of the colors, it comes with 12 colors. And this was five dollars at Michaels, but Michaels do be having them fifty percent off coupons. So I think I paid like a dollar, two dollars or some change, two fifty. So two fifty for all of these glitters, and I am missing one because I sold it. But yeah, I'm gonna have to get some more glitters. But this is a great thing to start off with. So going into the bags that I have inside of the bag, I have this makeup bag here that I got from a thrift store for a dollar. So in this bag here, I have another glitter item, and I got this from Shamus, and it's basically um, those glitter things that has the sticky stuff in it. So I sometimes like to apply this as a base and put the glitter on top of it instead of just using eyelash glue, and it does work. So yeah, and these were a dollar at Shamus. And this is basically my eyelash and disposable bag. I do have my primers in here. I have two primers, the Fabulous Face Foundation Primer from Alter and the Hydro Primer because there are a lot of dry skin girls out there, so this is good. I have some LA Girl Orange Character Concealer. I have some lip products in here. 
I have some lashes on this side, and these are the Vivace um, 009 lashes, and I did use these in the tutorial. They give off that mink look without the mink lash price, and they're beautiful in my opinion, so yeah. I also have number 66, can't go wrong with 66 and 747s. Those are like bomb. And these are like good for beginners, but once I use these, I feel like I'm going to get rid of them and just start using nothing but mink lashes on my clients. I also have these lashes here, which I'm almost out of. These were a dollar something for like five pair. Wait, one, two, three. Yeah, five pair off of Amazon. And this is like that typical Chinese um, eyelash. So yeah, and these are supposed to be... Um, a good dupe for Demi Wispies by Ardell, and I also have these, and these are like the Chinese lashes as well. And you just have to measure them to your client's eye and cut them. So, yeah, I have those, and I also bought these off the Chinese base website. And these are supposed to be a dupe for me. But I don't like I like them, but then I don't. The thing I don't like about these lashes is they are too plasticky. At and at the top, the glue that they have on them is just already on the lash. So those are good. And once I use these up, I will never order them again. I'm just gonna go straight to the real ones instead of buying the blue ones, the plastic blue ones. And I also have these lashes here. These are. Dolly 973 lashes. I have the Life of 974 and I have Dainty and 975. And these lashes all came from my local Dollar Tree. And these are more natural. So these are for the people who like natural lashes. So yeah, I love those. And they were a dollar. And what else do I have in here? Some more glitters. A setting powder in 10. For my dark for setting powder, these setting powders are really good. The LA Colors ones, I'm gonna have to get some more because I want to. I used to use this on myself, but I want to get back into using it on myself. Yeah, and I also have some individual lashes in here as well, just in case a client requests some individuals. And yeah, oh, and I also have these grateful lashes by Kiss, and these came two in the pack. And whenever somebody wants these. Get to put them on them. So I like to have come prepared with everything in my kit for my full face. And yeah, now I'm gonna get into another bag that I have, which is this Mary Kay bag that I can barely close. And this is where the bulk of my makeup is that I put on my client. Basically, two eyeshadow palettes that I work out of and a lot of MUAs carry a lot of eyeshadow palettes, but they don't even use them. So I just carry these two currently, and these are my Morphe 35W and O. And I'm not gonna even open these because Google it; it's all over the internet. I also have this Beauty Treats blush palette. These blushes are super pigmented, y'all. The only thing about it is cheap packaging, but I don't even care. The clients don't care as long as the makeup. It's good. Who cares about packaging? I also just threw this in here, which I needed. I'm gonna throw this away. This this is so unprofessional, y'all. But this is another Beauty Treats palette, and I only bought this because I did my boyfriend's, my sister-in-law makeup, my boyfriend's sister makeup, and she needed she needed some color in her life. So yeah, I just bought that just in case. And my Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit, TJ Maxx, 19.99. Uh, this Profusion palette, $3.99, now this is good. Like I said, this works good. I tested it all myself, and it did break me out once I used it too much, but I can get away with it using it once every once in a while. Also, Contour Book, Bomb. Um, City Color Concealer Palette, and as you can see, it's time for another one. This is a mess, so yeah. And I also have the Orphe Brow Palette, and I did want to get the one by Anastasia, but that bitch $80. $80, yes. $80. Yeah. Um, who the fuck Anastasia thinks she is? I thought she's mother and all of that, but $80? I'm 
Don't you feel like, don't you feel for us? I do not, okay, this looks so nasty. I do not touch these two at all. I might just go in and see if I can depot this and take this out, but I do not use these at all, so don't even worry about this. But you, you get one, two, three, four, six brow powders. Not that this is $14. And I hear that BH has a good BH has a good palette. But yeah, this has gotten me through my client my client so far and I love it so thank you Morphe for coming through with the good cheap and the affordable products. Here I just have some loose and regular color setting powder that's normal skin tone. And this is from Clutch Cosmetics and this is in the color walnut. I just I used to wear this when I worked there, but now I see my kit because I don't work there anymore. And I feel like a lot of loose setting powders are messy, but they set the they set the face without changing the color of the foundation too much. So that's why I like to keep those in my kit. And I also have these LA colors loose setting powders in the color light and neutral. And I use these to bake. And I used to use this. This is the first thing I started. This is like banana powder, but this is like the third one that I bought that was it was like two dollars. It's bomb as fuck, y'all. You can get it at Family Dollar and Dollar General. And take my word for it, it's really good. <clears throat> Another other color setting powder in the mood, just in case I get all fair skin clients. Um, I just have this um highly wasted cheek. Thing by ColourPop is a highlighter, but I do not have to have this this time, so I just put it in my kit. I also have the green concealer from LA Girl, just in case I do get somebody that has a lot of red on their face. So yeah. And I also have this LA Colors highlighter in the color bronze. This is so beautiful on it. This is so beautiful. Go get it for $3. I have it in my personal kit, and I have it in my, um... My personal makeup kit, I have some disposable that are just out and about throwing those away. And I have a sharpener and some oil blotting sheets. And on the other side, this is how it looks, y'all. So it has two zip compartments on each side and you can put makeup in the middle. And this is the side with my foundation. So I have Laura Mercedes Translation Setting Powder, Balm, um, some... This is Ulta Bronzer, this is like a good highlight for dark skin type. It's too dark and it's like it's good in my kids. Um, this, um, No More Blemish Lipper Foundation by Ruby Kisses. I bought this for myself, but I don't think... This is for dry skin. They need to put this on here. It says semi matte finish, oil free. Hell no, they is lying to ass off. There is so much oil in this product, so this works. Bomb for anyone who has dry skin, but if you are oily girl, do not buy this shit. Stay away from it. I just keep this one color in my kit because if I have to mix it with a mattifying foundation, I'm gonna use this as the majority of the product and just you know take that. But these are good to keep in your kit. And I got this at the I also have my personal, since I just read some of my kits since I've been using the drugs for a This is, excuse me, Benefit Professional Matte Rescue, and it is running out. And I'll have these Ulta foundations. I have a couple of these. And also, I bought these because Ulta was running the sale, and I just ran the store and just bought them. It was like time to do one my kit in the R semi matte and demi matte foundation. And these have gotten me through a lot of the as well. So, yeah, inexpensive. Just catch them when they have a set. I have a new iPhone too. And black, which is basically down to a million. I also have some Mary Kay liquid foundations. And this. When I first started, I didn't have anything, and I'm I'm still broke. So anything that I can get that's free, that's been untouched, bomb. And Mary Kay has some good products, so thank you, cause. And I also have a um setting powder in um by Ruby Kisses, and this is just like something that I used to have, but I threw it in my kit. So yeah, and that's. Also, I have to keep a tab on my 
And I also have the Mag Fix Plus spray in my kit, so yeah, I'm thinking I'm about another one of these, but it's gonna be the circle size because Big Mac is just too expensive. So yeah. So I wanted to go through my makeup kit, my freelance makeup kit, and just show you guys what I have already. That's what I have already, and then I'm gonna go to the store and vlog my shopping trip and just show you guys. Because I know I need so much more in my kit. So, yeah, that is my kit. And remember to stay unique and love the individuality. And don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And I'll see y'all in my next video.